Hello everybody, it's Gabe, and I'm back with a tutorial um, showing you how to download mods using Forge for your Windows. Yeah. So, first what you want to do is you want to go to the website. This website is www.9minecraft.net. You don't have to put all the slash stuff but after it, but if you want to, it'll take you right to this page. If you don't want to, then just look on the sidebar and... Oh, I just passed it. And it's... What the heck? And it's right here. So what you want to do is, it's an API, obviously. Um, whatever version you have, you can download it for. Sadly, they don't have it for 1.7.9 yet. They have it for like 1.7.2 as a recent, the most recent one. I clicked 1.6.4 because that's what I like. Um, I don't know what Universal does, but usually it'll do the installer. So after you click download, you'll get this download button. Don't click these, don't click this, click this, not these, or this. Once you do that, you will get a download thing, uh, right there. Okay. Now, extract means if you've already installed the client, and you want to get rid of mods because you don't like mods it'll extract the, all the files that it put into your computer install client means it'll put all the mods folders into your computer so you can use mods so after you click ok it'll do download and all that for windows 8 you'll hold the windows icon and then press R or go to the start menu and then go all the way down here but for me I press prefer doing that. For Windows 7 and all them before Windows 8, you go to the little start tab and search in run, which is the program, and you click on it and this will pop up. What you do is you type percent app data percent. You press OK because that's a folder. And you might have all this all this you know stuff and you might not it doesn't really matter if you go the specific one you're looking for is dot minecraft you can see as you see you might have a mods folder if you don't just create one it's fine um see all these is where they installed those now, mind you, you have to run 1.6.4 before you can uh, download the Forge for it. So let's say you run 1.7.2. Wait, you download the Forge? You can't run it until this is played. So that's our de desired version right there. 1.6.4 Forge. Um, Minecraft. Okay, getting Minecraft up and going. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I got this console up and running. What you do is you go to Edit Profile, whatever your name is. It doesn't really matter. You go to the used version. These don't really matter because those are way before this. Um, and you'll click on the desired folder, save profile, and you run the game with. Now, one thing I forgot to show you. Um, run, 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 run. One thing I forgot to show you is if you go into the dot minecraft folder and go into mods, let's say you have this random mod that you just downloaded. 
Some mods might need a core mod to help make them work. But all you do is just download it. Now some mods will not work. So I recommend using them one at a time. Not in a pack. Because if you have like 12 mods. And you download all 10, 12 of them. And put them all in your folder. And Minecraft crashes. It's because of one of those mods. Which really sucks. But I know how I have a way to counteract that. Um, if you go to the crash thing, you know, it's usually over here. It'll give you the list of mods and say errored or like available. The one that says errored on the end of the line is your mod that's messing the game up. And that's basically it for this tutorial, thanks.